back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin. Yesterday, we talked about using the RAND function to fill in some data. Here's another great use for the random function. Um, let's say that you're a teacher in a classroom and you have to assign the order for the book reports. Um, the poor kids are named Adam, Alex, Andrew. They have to go first all the time if you do it alphabetically. Um, instead, I'm going to suggest that we use the RAND function to create a random sort order for those students. So select a blank column next to your entire range of students, type in the RAND function, control enter to enter that function everywhere, and you see that we now have a random number assigned to each student. If I now sort this column using the A to Z button, I've assigned a random sequence for the students. Now the one gotcha is that Excel did the sort and then recalculated the RAND, and so some sharp student might say, hey, wait a second, Athena had the lowest number, not Brandon. Well. Brandon did have the lowest number before the sort. You can think of many situations, even at work, where you need to randomly sequence something, and using a random sort order with the RAND function is one great way to do it. Thanks for joining us. Stop back tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.